Our learning intention for today is that we are learning to add positive and negative numbers. There may be times when we have to add positive and negative numbers together. You might see something like this. 12 plus negative 6. But how do we solve this problem? That is a good question. That's what we're going to look at today. But before we do that, we have some rules that we need to know about adding numbers together. The first rule is that adding a positive number means adding. It's just regular addition. If I had 2 plus 2, that is adding a positive number, and so we just add it. Generally, we are dealing with positive numbers, and we don't give them a special sign like we do negative numbers to differentiate them, to tell them apart, because we just assume that that's what we're dealing with. Our second rule is that adding a negative number means subtracting. But why? That doesn't make a lot of sense, does it? Adding a negative number, adding, means subtracting. Well, let's look at this in an example. Say you and your friend are going out for lunch, but you don't have any money. But that's okay, because your friend has got a little bit of extra money on him, and he's able to lend you some. So he's not giving you the money. He's lending it to you with the expectation that you will pay him back. So he gives you $5 for a burger, and because it's a loan... You're actually, it's, it's actually money that you are spending later. And so it's actually, you're now in debt to him $5. So we have to have a negative sign there. So he's giving you negative $5. And then let's say uh, for a burger, and let's say you would like a drink as well, and that's $3. So he gives you $3 of debt. So he gives you negative $3. So this is, these, we're adding this up for your debt. This is not necessarily your lunch. This is how much you owe your friend. It's how much money you have on you now. You actually now have less money than when you started. You now have negative five plus negative three. Okay. So we need to actually subtract three from negative five because the negative sign when we're adding cancels the addition out. So we are just subtracting. So if we look at this on a number line, we've got zero in the middle and negatives to the left and our positives to the right. We start at negative five because that's what we're starting on. We're starting with $5 of debt when we buy the burger. And then we want to add $3 of debt when we buy our drink. So we need to jump back three. We're actually subtracting three. So now we have negative eight dollars. So negative five plus negative three is actually the same as negative five minus three, which is negative eight dollars. So that's how much debt you have now. How much you owe your friend and how much you need to pay him back later. So just to remind us of our rules, our first rule is that if we add a positive number, we actually add it. That's just regular addition. And if we add a negative number, we're actually subtracting it. Okay, let's put these two rules into application. Let's start with this problem here. Negative 2 plus 7. Okay, so I am starting on negative 2 and I need to add 7. Okay, so it's easier for me actually to imagine this on a number line. So I'm going to draw this out on a number line. Okay, so I've got a number line here, zeros in the middle, negatives to the left, positives to the right. And I would like to start on uh, negative 2. So we'll start on negative 2, which is here. So negative 2. And then I want to jump 7 up. So let's just see what we end up with. 1, 2, 3. Five, six, seven. Oh, okay. So negative two plus seven is five, which you might notice actually is the same as seven minus two. Interesting. That's because um, it doesn't matter what order we're actually adding these in. So we could rewrite this problem as seven plus negative two, in which case we're actually subtracting the two to get to five as well. This is the same problem. We've just switched our terms around. We're allowed to do that with addition. We can't do that so much with subtraction, but with addition, we absolutely can. Okay, my number line's a little messy now, but that's okay. You can see the numbers there. You can see the notches. So we can use this to help us work things out. Okay, let's try another problem. Let's try uh, 12 plus negative 6. 
What is 12 plus negative 6? Well, let's look at our rules. So we are dealing with adding a negative, so we need to subtract it. So actually, we are going to subtract 6 instead of add 6. We're going to add negative 6, which is actually just subtracting 6. So I would like to start on 12, which is here, 12, and I want to subtract 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 which will land us on 6. And so, 12 minus 6 is 6. This was the same problem as we had at the start of the video. Let's try, let's try a word of problem. I owed my friend $7. I borrowed another $6 from him. How much money do I have now? So we're talking how much money, and that could be negative money if I'm in debt, which it looks like I am because I borrowed money and I owed him some money, and then I borrowed some more. So this actually looks like, uh, so I owed, so that means money that I actually owe him, so I don't have it. So that's negative $7. And then I am going to add some more debt to me. So I borrowed another $6. So I added $6 of debt. So what is this? So negative seven plus negative six. So let's look at our rules negative, so when we are subtract, adding, so let's look at our rules. When I'm adding a negative, I'm actually going to subtract it. So I'm going to subtract six from negative seven. Let's find it on the number line, shall we, just to help us out. So if I find seven, which is here, or negative seven rather, negative seven dollars, I want to then subtract six. One, two, three, four, five, six. And that will land me on negative $13. And so that's my solution, negative $13. And of course, we want to write that in worded form because I was given the question in worded form. I have negative $13 now. And that is how we add negative and positive numbers. In this video, we have looked at the rules that we need to remember to add and subtract positive and negative numbers. And in our next video, we are going to be looking at subtracting positive and negative numbers.